glory to God. Hallelujah. We worship you. We give you praise and glory, God, because there's none like you in the matchless name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. Thank you for tuning in to the Hewitt channel. Hallelujah. I'm a few minutes late, but hallelujah. We're going to step on the devil's head today because I ran across some opposition. Hallelujah. We had a little technical difficulty, but baby, we're going to dance on the devil's head. We're going to keep our foot on his neck and send him back to the pits of hell where he belongs in the name of Jesus because we're going forth and we're going to lift up the name of Jesus because he's so worthy to be praise hallelujah weapons may form but it shall not prosper the word of god says that there is no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper god never said that the weapons weren't weren't going to form but they're not going to pos prosper hallelujah and we bless god hallelujah for you tuning in to the hewitt channel hallelujah our ministry is mcn ministry bible way la hallelujah Please come and check out our webpage at bryanthewitt.com. Hallelujah. And if you want to seed into this ministry, it truly is a fertile ministry. Hallelujah. Because we're going to the four winds of the earth. Hallelujah. So please come and check out our webpage. And if you want, uh, um, if uh, you want to sign on to the newsletter, please fill out the information on the email and we will keep in touch with you hallelujah we're going to go before the lord we're going to magnify god because he's worthy to be praised most gracious father we come before you right now lord in the name of jesus father god we thank you lord jesus for every blessing you have for us this day father god we thank you that this is the day the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it and father god we just thank you and praise you lord jesus for every blessing hallelujah we thank you that our children are covered up under the blood of jesus we thank you lord jesus that you have had your angels encamped around about us protecting us from seeing this unseen danger all day long or all evening long and for that father god we want to say thank you father god we love you and we glorify you we thank you for a teachable spirit we thank you, Lord Jesus, that Anita will decrease and you will increase in me mightily. Father God, we thank you for souls to be one in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for not one word shall fall upon deaf ears, but it shall accomplish that it was sent to do. And Father God, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We have started a series called Overcomers. We are overcomers. We're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. So we have some issues that really need to be addressed that may not be addressed at your home church, but we need some issues that need to be addressed so we can be overcomers. Hallelujah. God causes us to triumph always. Hallelujah. And we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to give you that scripture as well. So please get your Bible and a pen and a piece of paper we're talking about overcoming opposition and today just a few minutes ago 10 minutes ago i had opposition hallelujah the enemy tried to block everything my computer shut down but god hallelujah i know that this is a powerful word because the enemy's trying trying to stop it but the bible says that there is no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper and i thank god for you tuning in because you're in for a blessing you're in to receive a word from god hallelujah we're talking about tonight and today hallelujah whatever time zone that you're in we're talking about overcoming opposition hallelujah when the enemy comes isn't it amazing when we did not know the Lord. I could care less what people say. But now that I'm in the church, hallelujah, someone talk about me. I can't go to church. I'm mad at everybody. But opposition is going to come because Jesus was talked about. He was hated. You're going to have haters along the way. But nevertheless, you stay focused and look on to God, who is the author and finisher of your faith. So we're talking about overcoming opposition. Hallelujah. And our key verse, hallelujah, which we're going to stand on is 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. 
Now thanks be to, unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. Hallelujah. And make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. God causes you to triumph always in Christ. Hallelujah. So we are overcomers today. And we're starting this series of being overcomers. We are overcomers over every situation that you're facing today, every opposition, every stumbling block that want to come in and try to block you. Hallelujah. You could do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Hallelujah. Because we can do all things, we have the victory. We have the victory. We're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. So because oppositions are going to come, hallelujah, they came from every mighty man and woman of God from Genesis to Revelation. Hallelujah. And we're children of God and God went through opposition. So if he went through it, you know, we're going to go through it, but we go through it. We don't stay in it. We're not defeated. Hallelujah. Because we're the heads and not the tails. Hallelujah. So please get your Bible. We're going to James. Hallelujah. One. Chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Hallelujah. James, chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. My brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Know this, that this is a trying of your faith. Worketh patience. Hallelujah. What? Count it all joy when I go through trials and tribulations. What? You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tried. Hallelujah. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Hallelujah. There comes a time that you're going to be tempted. But hallelujah, the sin is not being tempted. The sin is yielding to the temptation. That's when sin begins. So therefore, count it all joy when you go through these different temptations, knowing that it's a trying of your faith. Hallelujah. God's word. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing when we go through temptations or when we go through trials? Hallelujah. We end up seeking God a little bit more. We start doing some neology. We fall on our knees and we start praying and reading the word and quoting the word. Isn't it amazing? You start calling people, say, pray with me because I'm going through this. Hallelujah. Because the enemy's trying to come against me this way and that way. The Bible says the enemy may come several ways, but hallelujah, they will, the enemy will come one way and flee seven different ways. Hallelujah. And we thank God because we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. We have the victory, saints of the most high God. So what you're going through, hallelujah, whatever you're going through, give it to God. Hallelujah. Like I always say, cast those cares upon him for he cares for you hallelujah so i'm not carrying it hallelujah because you're going to have enemies you're going to have haters hallelujah you're going to have them and isn't it amazing that the person that you may even sit up and grow up with they will come against you but nevertheless if god before you who can be against you hallelujah Friends are going to come and go. Hallelujah. Company or whatever. Boyfriends, girlfriends may come and go. But God, long as said, you don't leave me, I'll be all right. Because God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. So let's get into the word. Psalms 37 and, excuse me, Psalms 27 and 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path because of my enemies. Hallelujah. I'm asking you, God, to teach me. Hallelujah. I'm a teachable spirit. I have a teachable spirit. I'm ready to receive your instructions, O Lord. Lead me down a plain path. Hallelujah. Because my enemies, hallelujah, want to sift me like wheat. Hallelujah. But God, hallelujah, he protects us. Hallelujah, he has his angels encamped around about us. He's protecting us from seen and unseen danger. Hallelujah, glory to God. According to Psalms 31, hallelujah, 15 and 16. 
my time are in thy hands deliver me from the hands of my enemies from them that persecute me make my face to shine upon the servant save me from from my for from my mercy's sake hallelujah god let me tell you hallelujah the bible says time is in god's hands hallelujah deliver me from my enemies hallelujah from the haters they want to persecute me hallelujah make my face shine upon thy servant hallelujah in other words hear me when i call lord and hallelujah i know that you always hear me hallelujah save me for thy mercy's sake hallelujah i know that you are merciful god and lord i'm calling on mercy today because the oppositions are coming against me hallelujah but I want you to go with me to Psalms 34, 7 and 8. It says, the angels of the Lord encamped around about me that fear them. Hallelujah. And deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusted in him. Hallelujah. So have you tasted and seen that God is good? Have you tasted and seen that God's going to see you through every situation? Because oppositions are going to come. Hallelujah. That they are going to come just like the sun rises and sets. Hallelujah. You're going to go through. But we have the victory. Hallelujah. Because the angels of the Lord are around us. Hallelujah. He's protecting us from seen and unseen danger. Hallelujah. God. God has his angels. The devil will not come nigh your dwelling. Why? Because you trust in him. Hallelujah. The adversary is going to come. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not glorifying him. I'm just telling you that you have the victory in Christ Jesus. I'm telling you to stand on God's word. I'm telling you to stand and trust God in everything. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm acknowledging you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to direct my path. Lord, I love you because you are my protector. You are my high tower. Hallelujah. In you, I put my trust. Hallelujah. So our trust is in Christ Jesus. When the enemy comes, hallelujah, we know that God is going to protect us. Hallelujah. They will not come. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing that God knows? Hallelujah. Whatever you're going through. Hallelujah. And God will only let the devil come as far as God will. He cannot come no further. Hallelujah. God will not let the enemy just come and run rock shot in your life. Hallelujah. But when the enemy comes, when trials come, we have to call upon our call upon our heavenly father his name is jesus hallelujah we have power god says now i give you power hallelujah to resist temptation to bind satan so we is power in the name of jesus we bind satan in the name of jesus and send him back to the pits of hell where he belongs hallelujah and he will stay there because we have the victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to turn with me to Psalms 91, 4 and 5. Hallelujah. And the word of God says, He shall cover thee with thy feathers, and under thy wing shall thy trust. Hallelujah. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. Hallelujah. Verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that fly during day. Hallelujah. I don't care what which from the east, south, north, or west. Hallelujah. Want to curse you. Hallelujah. I'm not walking in fear because God didn't give me a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. And because of that, I know that my trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah. Oppositions are going to come, but we are overcomers. Hallelujah. Because we just read that God causes us to triumph always. I want you to circle that scripture, 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Hallelujah. So when the enemy 
want to come, want to say all manner of evil, hallelujah, you can stand on the word of God and say, God, you caused me to triumph always, not sometimes, but always, hallelujah, and if you don't know the Lord as your personal savior, now is the time, now is the acceptable time, because no man knows the day nor the hour when the son of man is coming, and I don't want to be lost. We have been bought by the precious blood of Jesus. And because our lives are not our own, our lives belong to God. But first, we must know him as our personal Savior. Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? According to Romans 10 and 10, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. In verse 13, it says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my life over and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit to Fill my life and take full control. Help me to become the person you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. Hallelujah. I'm rejoicing. Pastor Brian Hewitt is rejoicing with you. Hallelujah. And for you, welcome to the kingdom of God. Now, hallelujah, you took the most important step. Now you ask God to lead and guide you to the right Bible church that's preaching the word of God. And get active in the midweek Bible study because fellowship is so important. Hallelujah. And that's where you get strong strengthen in the word of God because it's each one teach one each one reach one hallelujah and it's something about that fellowship where we come together and we strengthen one another and we strengthen one another by the word of God hallelujah so you'll be able to stand on the word hallelujah because the word of God is the only thing that's going to keep you hallelujah once again welcome to the body of Christ and Please visit our webpage to let us know that you gave your life to the Lord. And if you need a Bible, please let us know that. We will make sure you have a Bible. And welcome to the kingdom of God. But we're talking about overcoming opposition. Hallelujah. Because we have the victory. Hallelujah. Because the oppressor is going to come. Hallelujah. But we have the victory. Our victory is not within myself. The victory is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, God loves us so much. He loves us. Hallelujah. I just praise him. I can't get over how much God loves us. Because, hallelujah, he loved me when I wasn't lovable. Hallelujah. When things came my way, I thought I could handle it on my own. But I know now, hallelujah, I can't. I can't handle it. God says, cast those cares upon him, for he cares for me. Hallelujah. And I thank God he cares for me. And if he cares for me, I know he cares for you because God has no respect for a person. Hallelujah. Because the oppositions are going to come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to turn with me to Isaiah 40 and 31. The word of God says, but they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord, saints of the most high God. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah, because the enemy is going to come, but God has a way of raising us up and above the situation. Hallelujah, I cannot look at the enemy because I know that, hallelujah, God got me. Hallelujah, I'm covered up under the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, and goodness and mercy got my back. Hallelujah, so therefore I do not walk in fear because fear 
fear has a way of tormenting. Hallelujah. It keeps you in bondage. And God never wanted us to be in bondage. God came to set the captives free. And we're free in Christ Jesus. So because we're free in Christ Jesus, we know, hallelujah, that we have the victory. God said we could do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. So we're overcoming oppositions that come our way. There are going to be some disappointments along the way. But again, I trust in you, God. I trust you, God, in all things. Hallelujah. When you get to the point of saying, God, I have nobody else but you. Hallelujah. I'm trusting in you. Hallelujah. To bring me up and out of every situation. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, I know that you're going to bring us through every situation. Hallelujah. In Micah. Turn with me to Micah 7 and 8. Hallelujah. Micah 7 and 8 says, Rejoice not against me. Hallelujah. O my enemies, when I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. Hallelujah. Sometimes, hallelujah, life circumstances, hallelujah, will get us so bogged down. Hallelujah. I'm sitting in darkness. I don't want to see no light. I just want to cover my head. Hallelujah. All manner of the enemies trying to bombard me with all life circumstances. But God is the light. Hallelujah. God will raise me up. Hallelujah. The Bible says a righteous man falleth seven times, but he rises up. Hallelujah. Because that's what's in us is called tenacity. I can't lay down in the mess. I cannot let the enemy come run rock shot over me. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, the greater one that's in you, the Bible says greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. So when opposition come. Hallelujah. I want you to know that you have the victory. I want you to know, hallelujah, that God, hallelujah, is the greater one that's in you. Hallelujah. And God will keep, God will see you through every situation. Hallelujah. Because he will see you through. Hallelujah. I trust in him. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, hallelujah, when you run across oppositions, according to Romans, 12 18 if it be possible as much uh, lieth in you which lies in you live peaceably with all men hallelujah god wants us to walk in peace if possible hallelujah and it says what lies in you meaning that sometimes you're going to be tried. You're going to be stretched a little bit. Hallelujah. But it makes us stronger. Hallelujah. When we go through opposition, hallelujah, it builds character. Hallelujah. We don't understand it. Hallelujah. I may not like it. It doesn't even feel good nor taste good. But it's like that medicine that your mother used to give you. Hallelujah. She used to give you a spoonful of that nasty medicine. It's nasty to the taste, but it makes you feel good hallelujah so when we go through the word of, when we go through opposition sometimes and then we quote the word it doesn't feel good like James counted all joy when you go through the different trials and temptations hallelujah but it's a working of your faith hallelujah it strengthens me when I'm weak Hallelujah. So the word of God is strengthened. Hallelujah. Because you'll be able to stand. And when you stand, you can reach and teach somebody else and let them know that I've been there, done that. Hallelujah. And if God did it for me, I know he'll do it for you. In Romans 14 and 19, it says, let us follow after the things which make for peace, the things Hallelujah, wherewith one may edify one another. Hallelujah, so we're edifying one another. We're lifting up one another. 
We're walking in peace today, no matter when the opposition may come. Hallelujah, because the devil is a lie. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. And because we have the victory in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, we're walking in peace today. Hallelujah, the word of God says, the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep our heart and mind through Christ Jesus. God said, whose mind is stayed on him, that he'll keep in perfect peace. Hallelujah. So God is going to keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind on him. Hallelujah. You can't look at the enemy. You can't look at the naysayers that want to say all manner of evil. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, the Bible says the devil is the brother's accuser. Hallelujah. So that they're going to accuse you. Hallelujah. But it's not them. It's the spirit that's trying to work through them. So hallelujah. The Bible says we don't fight against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. It's a spiritual warfare. And hallelujah. Don't you know the greater one, like I said before, Greater is he that's in you than he is in the world. Certain things you don't even have to even respond to. You know who you are in Christ Jesus. Walk with your head up high. Hallelujah. Because oppositions are going to come. But hallelujah. I'll use everything. Hallelujah. That try to stump in my way will be a stepping stone. Hallelujah. I step just a little harder in the name of Jesus and walk over every situation. Hallelujah. Because my hope is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we're overcomers today. Hallelujah. We're overcoming oppositions. Hallelujah. Things that want to come against us and stand in our way. Hallelujah. I'm not going to allow the enemy to sidetrack me. I'm not going to allow the enemy to block me. Hallelujah. Because we have the victory. Hallelujah. Because the enemy want to try to stop you. But we got the victory in Christ Jesus because we're overcomers. Hallelujah. Thank God how God had put this in my spirit for us to teach at three o'clock talking about the victory of overcomers. Hallelujah. It's a series. We are overcomers. Again, 2 Corinthians 2, 14. Hallelujah. Now, thanks be to God which always causes us to triumph where? In Christ. Hallelujah. And make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. In everywhere we go, God gives us the victory. In everything that God has for us, hallelujah, the victory is already ours. And we bless God for the for the victory we're closing out now hallelujah and we just thank god hallelujah because when the opposition had tried to come hallelujah we might have started a little late today but i'm still going forth hallelujah because i know hallelujah the word of god is powerful sharper than any two-edged sword hallelujah and i'm not letting the enemy try to stop me hallelujah because we have the victory the bible says that there there's no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. And we thank God for it right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We praise God for the victory. We thank God that God has given us the victory. Why? Because we're overcomers. Let's pray. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory we have in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word of God that went forth in power. Hallelujah. We are overcomers. Hallelujah oppositions we are overcoming oppositions today hallelujah we have the victory hallelujah because god causes us to triumph always and lord we're standing on your word today and father god we thank you that we're casting those cares upon you for you care for us we thank god for the souls that were won today we thank you the ones that gave their life to the lord we thank god that our faith has risen just a little bit higher and lord jesus we just glorify you and we thank God for you. Thank you for tuning in to the Hewitt channel. Tune back in at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. My husband, Pastor Brian, will be preaching under the unction of the Holy Ghost and get ready to be blessed. So until we meet again, 
We love you with the love of the Lord. And know at 3 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going, we're in a series of overcomers. We are overcomers over every opposition, over everything that comes our way. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. Until we meet again, may God bless you and keep you. Amen.